ho, ho. Welcome back to the brew room. Uh, Christmas is upon us. Won't be long. A couple of months and uh, we'll be yule tiling all the way. Mince pies are in the shops already. Yeah, that's true. Advent calendars are, are there. We've got a Christmas tree up in the living room. Easter eggs. Uh, already. Uh, so, I'm going to brew up a Christmas brew. Alright? Uh, the thinking behind it is that I'm going to bottle it up and have at least two months in the bottle. Well, no, a month. A month in the bottle. Four weeks. Let it do a good bit of aging before we drink it. This is the kit. What I'm, what I'm doing up now, it's a Milestone Brewing Company kit. Uh, it's the first kit I've done from for Milestone, and it's a Donna and Blitz uh, Christmas Christmas kit. So it reads on it on the bottom here: uh, a dark chestnut ale with hints of black treacle rum, a real Christmas treat. Uh, so that sounds <laughs> that sounds nice. Uh, the alcohol contents of this brew when it's done they say is 4.5%. Now I'm going to use a bit of Christmas cheer in the form of cocaine. <laughs> Street value of about 30 grand there. Christmas cheer, sugar. Alright, I'm going to add a bit more sugar to this and, let, and try and get the alcoholic contents up because it's Christmas after all. And it comes but once a year. So uh, it feels. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got my ferment uh, fermentation bucket uh, sanitising. I've got all my tackle down there sanitising. I've got six litres, uh, six pints of water bringing up to a boil. And I've got my two pans here with the uh, boiled water in them. But I'm, uh, I've stopped now, they're just, just really hot water that I'm going to put the cans in to soften them up. So, without further ado, let's do just that. Now in the kit, it's a two can kit again, so you don't have to add any sugar to it. There's enough sugar in the malt extract, uh, because you've got two cans that you don't need to add sugar. If it was just the one can, then you'd have to add about... Uh, I think it's 500 grams of either sugar or dry malt extract. So there are the tins. I'm going to put them in there. So you have to pierce the lid? No. Sure. Yeah. That's the box. Boom! Comes with some brewing instructions. Uh, just telling you what to do, sterilising and, and what to do with these, but I've done one before. They can't be that much different. This yeast is uh, a Jervin, uh, a Jervin or Jervin English ale yeast, and it says that for this one you have to uh, add this sachet of yeast to 50 millilitres of lukewarm water, uh, add half a teaspoon of sugar, leave for 15 minutes, stir vigorously, uh, add 250 millilitres of your wort to it. Uh, leave it till it starts to ferment a little bit and then add it to the bulk of your ward. Well, if you think I'm doing all that, you've got another thing coming. Because in the instructions it just says to sprinkle it on top of your ward. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what, that's what I'm going to do, I ain't going to rehydrate it. If you need it. your ward sorting out, <laughs> sprinkle some of that on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to empty this and then we'll start. Right. Uh, I've emptied all the sanitizer out of this, so that's been nice and sanitized. Put the lid back on, nothing can get in there. Uh, I've just took this off the boil. Uh, I'm going to let it just cool down a little bit. So when you've been doing the kits, uh, you know, uh, when you've been doing more kits, you'll get the hang of it. I'm still getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of putting enough hot water in to cold water to get it to the right temperature. Uh, the temperature to pitch the yeast wants to be between 20 and 25 degrees. Uh, any higher, uh, and you can kill your yeast off. Uh, now, yeast likes to be red hot, uh, and the sort of hotter it is to a degree, um, it will 
grow and grow and grow, really vigorous fermentation, but it gives off an off taste. Uh, so keep it between 20 and 25 degrees. So I've just turned that off the boil. Uh, I'm boiling the kettle now because when these have uh, been emptied into here, uh, I'm going to fill them with boiled water out of the kettle to get all the malt extract out. I'm also going to run boiling water over the top where I'm touching them to sanitise it. Uh, and in here I've got the um, can openers in, in sterilised. Basically, anything that's going in that bucket has got to be extremely well sanitised, even yams. Uh, and if you do that, then you won't have a problem with infection. Uh, so that's it. I mean, I've racked the other one I've been doing. The, the last brew I did was the um, was the uh, Mountain's Premium Gold Midas Touch, uh, and I racked that from the fermentation bucket into the carboy because there was quite a um, large amount of trud uh, forming, and I didn't want it sat on that. Uh, now people say don't do that, don't put it into the carboy and then bottle it, because all you're doing is increasing the chance of infection. But if you've sanitised everything really well, you've eliminated that uh, infection possibility. Uh, so when people get uh, lazy with it, that's when you get problems. So everything's well sanitised to start with and you won't have a problem. Right, it's time now to get the malt extract into the fermentation bucket. Uh, and the way we're going to do it is obviously take the cans out of here. Ah, the red off. Get a clean tea towel. Uh, put these back in here. Just tempted to put things back on the work surfaces, but if it's not, you've not sterilised the work surfaces, then you're going to have problems. So put it back in the sanitizer. That's the first one. That's the second one. Ooh, Nigella Lawson at Brewing World. <laughs> right. Uh, now basically, these are two can kit. So instead of having one can of malt extract, you're having two. So you, you don't need to add sugar to them. But because uh, it's a Christmas brew, and uh, because I'm going to be spending it predominantly with my new wife, I want to... Uh, Get absolutely bland, so I don't remember a thing. Poor Abby. Of course, I'm jesting, but really, I, I really want to get bladder at Christmas. I've got a building, woman. Right, that's it. They go back in there just to keep them clean. Uh, I'm going to boil the kettle up, like I say. Do you, uh, do you wash your underpants in that bucket and all? I try my hardest to, we, uh, yeah, when we can we do. Just put that down. Spoon! Which is in the, uh, in the sanitizer. Put that on there. Right then. Ooh. Here we go. Let's start making beer! like a black molasses treacly substance and this is the, uh, the, the malt extract so don't have to get it all uh, in our fritman next one Ooh. look at that beautiful sugar, full of yeast food. Mm. Now someone sent me a message that says yeast. It uh, eats sugar, pisses alcohol, and fart CO2. I said you've just described it. 
So how much of that putting in? About 100 grams of this would have been naught to it. Just a small offering of Christmas cheer. Let me give it a good stir up. I'm so Stir that in as well after, or just let it settle. Some people let it sit on the uh, foam, some people stir it. But uh, I'm just going to let it sit on the foam this time. I've stirred everyone, I'm going to let one sit. Might just tamp it down a little bit. See you. 